All right, guys, today I'm out here to do some river exploring. Final bites of lunch. We're getting out there. It's gonna be a good day. I'm back on the river today, so welcome back to another episode. This water looks awesome. There's this old bridge foundation. It's really deep. <laughs> We're starting off ambitious, guys. I am already, uh-oh, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this. Oh, retreat, retreat. Okay, we tried. Yeah, let the journey up the river begin. This is quite the place I've found myself in today. I've always wanted to come here and explore, check it out, and roam up the river, but I never have, just because upstream there's an area that looks a little bit more enticing. But, you know, I've fished that a decent amount of times, and today I was like, what's stopping me from coming somewhere new and charting an uncharted place for me? Trout fishing tip number one is never get discouraged. Literally, that is your friend while you're fishing. You want to feel discouragement because the more of that you feel and the more you keep going, the more you're going to find. It's kind of fun when you don't find it right away. It's more rewarding. The more you got to work for it and earn it, the better it feels. Still nothing. I find myself asking myself a lot, like, what is life? Because this world we live in is so weird. It's like I just come out on the river and I forget about that. And then it almost answers itself. Like every time out here, I kind of figure a little bit about it out. And my answer to you is like, it's just weird. So let it be that way, I guess, unless, you know, you could just do something day to day, moment to moment that kind of helps it in the direction you see it. Explore. And then, you know, it just kind of solves itself. A lot of these trips is really simple as wherever my two legs will take me. That's where I'm gonna go. I'll figure something out. But a lot of times it's just about moving. It's about getting the blood flowing, just like how the river's flowing. It's really the same exact thing if you think about it. Movement is key. No matter what that movement is, no matter where it gets you. Help me a lot. It's like the answers to some of the biggest questions that we might think about become answered all of a sudden. It's like, well, really the way that this works, this works, this works, it's all the same. We are nature, and if you look at nature and you go out in it and then you piece it together, you learn stuff about yourself. So, pass it on. Keep sending it, keep walking. It's like, every footstep I take up a river is just another reason to keep on living <laughs> and another way that I'm gonna get to from point A to point B or whatever point from whatever point I'm trying to get to it'll just it shows you something when you move when you explore and then you take it forward it may not be what you want to see it may not be what you think you're gonna see hi ho hi ho now onwards up the river Let's see what we can catch in the river. Got him. There we go. Oh, that one came out of nowhere. First one of the day, what a start. Oh, no. Be right back. You always gotta recycle this. When you're out fishing, never throw this anywhere other than in your bag and then in the garbage. That's a big fish. Nice fish. <laughs> All right, checking back in. At this point of the day, partly cloudy conditions, the sun's poking in and out, which is really nice when it comes out because it's super warm. And when it goes behind the clouds, like my wet hands are like, woo, freezing. A bunch of spots down there were pretty good too, but you know, the bites are kind of here and there, few and far between almost. Oh, look at this, look at this. Put me back in the water and the paddle to the sea. If you find me, please contact. Cool. I'm a I'm paddle to the sea. He's trying to go to the ocean. Huh. I'm gonna put this boat from Julian Meyer um, back in the water. It's gonna float float her down to the sea. Alright. Gonna get you a good spot here, buddy. Really, really hope you make your voyage. Alright, see. If I didn't have, if I wasn't fishing to have waders, I would not be able to plop you in such a prime location in the middle of the river. 
go to the sea. Will this boat ever make it? I mean. A wild trout. Oh my. Got him. Got him. What's up, Ralphie? Whoa. Uh, jerk bait. Oh. Got him. You're in my creel now, baby. Let's go. Oh, let's go. That's a nice fish. Moment that these trips sometimes commence to. That's that's the drawing. Along with the entire journey that's kind of led me there. It's like everything's a part of it, but there's certain parts that just have a feeling of utter and absolute amazement and awe. Similar to how I randomly stumbled across that ship earlier. It's like the moments that you could not have planned to create and just unravel and come to be so oddly, randomly, yet intricately played out. It's like when you create something like that, that's what it is. These trips are a creation of energy and of life of creation. They're creation of creation, literally. What's being created out here is from creation itself. There's a day I absolutely live for, and today I'm lucky. This water is sick. Every bend up the river, there's something new. It's a lot of nice, fast runs, and the fish are tucked in really cool spots. So it's kind of what I imagined. Getting some rays blasting on my face from the sun, the fresh air, the sound of the ever-flowing, ever-running river. And getting a fish on my line. That's, that's what I live for. That's what I'm bringing to you guys, so... Woo, it's awesome. I mean, anytime, absolutely anytime it can come out and step foot in a river or on a trail or in the pine trees and hike and explore and become immersed. That's going to do it for me. I'm hiking out of this one. There's still a little bit of time to fish. So if I get back to the car with ample time, I'm going to hit another spot. But I realize how far I am away from the car and my back's starting to hurt. This backpack sucks. My waders has been leaking all day. There are some things I need to get situated for these next sends. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate everyone watching and hopefully getting something out of it. This is a really good trip. I am just blasting it out of here, trying to find my way back to the car. It's somewhere up this mountain, three miles over. I come out not really knowing what's going on. One step leads to the next, and by the end of the trip, so I look back and I'm like, well, that was the purpose of it. So it's the same way I feel about these videos, and that's why I film it. So I click record, not really knowing what's gonna happen, and then you know it just kind of transpires throughout the trip. So appreciate. It. So until next time, I'm gonna get back to the car and keep on sending it. You should as well. Keep on getting out there. Keep on throwing the positivity of fishing, whatever you're doing. <laughs>